Curse you, Harold. Your whining and decision will be the death sentence for your world. Stand aside, then, Silver Surfer, and let he who gave you your power be the one to show you how to properly wield it. Galactus. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls, everybody, welcome back to MCMV Hip Hop Explosion. I am your boy, your host, uh -huh. Uh -huh. MCMV. Uh -huh. uh -huh. You want to say welcome back? One time you know, for the subscribers. Check What's it out. up? Hello, everybody, and welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on everything fantastic. What do you know of meaningless? What do you know of meaningless? Universe matters more than your meaningless squabble. Meaningless. What do you know of meaningless? Meaningless squabble. Spend most of your life ruled by another. Watch your race dwindle to a handful. And then tell me what has more meaning than your own strength. Better tell the laws, 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 when we're thinking that is if you went to show, you don't come to books and raps and rap from Hong Kong and Sam to see the mad rap and pop the cheetah and see when you hit the end, you're just a cheetah. I beat you, beat you, drop, drop, they hit you, hit the spot, it's all the best, all the mess, it wasn't down the spot, spot, what you get in here is a kamikaze, shakes, shakes, music, music, damn, shake a me, a me, a me, a me, a me, a me, a Because Hendel can see everything. 
Hemdale has never been known for one with much imagination. But now, Hemdale, the one that guards the Hemdale, guards the Rainbow Bridge, Hemdale curses himself. For this time, it sucks. However, such self reproach may have been unwarranted. For if what Hemdale sensed was indeed a dream, then it is one that was shared with the alien warrior called Beta Ray Bill. There's something amiss, Beta Ray. There is a strange silence that has come upon thee. Does my request trouble thee? N no, Odin. No, Lord Odin. I, I just thought I heard something. But it's gone now. My apologies, my lord. I await your command so that I may complete this final quest. So be it, and upon thy return shall I, with great sorrow and reluctance, grant thee thy request, and reclaim thy portion of the Odin power. One O O approaching, designated convergence point. Distress interface activated. Probe launched. One O O attempting contact. Receptors and transmit is unstable, interface erratic. Disruption, trace to convergence. Coordinate must abort before. Too late. Outrider structural integrity corrupted. Losing control. <laughs> Quasar's log, starting. Uh, to be filled out later. I really should keep better track of these things. But sometimes when you set yourself up with such grand scale missions like protecting the universe, it's the little things that slip by the time. Yeah, like that faint buzz that was by my head a few seconds ago. I was so busy installing this monitor that that buzz was gone before I could track it. Well, no sense worrying about it. If it were something of a cosmic scale, one of my big ears would have signaled me by now. Yeah, Wendell, it was nothing. Then why do I feel so blasted guilty? One o o has failed. One 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 approaching designated convergence point. Distress interface activated. Probe launched. One 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 attempting contact. Receptors positive. Transmitters unstable. Interface erratic. Compensating. Signal pool simplement. Interface stabilizer. Transmitters positive. Interface established. Holding data. Download pending. Confirmation at target's matrix. Configuration and capability. Outright structural integrity corrupted. No. So close. Not when I'm so close. Losing control. One 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 has failed. I failed. What has happened? The vortex has vanished. I am still alive. No. It is outrider. One one one. That's still functioning. Or prune. You are still a life essence, encased in a synthesoid. You can never truly be alive again. Still, whatever the manner of awareness, it is undeniable that I am still here. But where exactly is here? And what of that creature that was coming straight at me? The senses verified. Its energy matrix, capability, 
with the Grand Practitioner's configuration. The linkage was confirmed. So, where is it? 111 survival means nothing if I had weathered the fury of the mystic spell only to lose that which was out of sense to find. It has to be out there, somewhere. It has to. And thus it begins. 111 has succeeded. In a way, contact has been made. Sort of. And reality, as it was known, up to this moment, will never again be the same for the Silver Surfer. Most definitely. Maintain control, 111. Perhaps another Outrider has succeeded where you failed. Activate network link. Nothing. No trace readings. Nothing. Wait. These readings may not be accurate. The Outrider's last entry reported a corruption in its structural integrity. 111. Access and diagnostic program. Exterior to interior. Scanning, imaging. What? This doesn't make sense. That is supposed to be a schematic of a ship's hull. The diagnostic program itself must also be corrupted. 111, interfacing with Outrider. Neural system, cerebral receptors activated. Search and isolate any and all anomalies from original neural system baseline. Searching, isolating. What madness is this? Who are you? Where in the name of perdition am I? What? By Zenla's moons, what is happening here? Answer me. I can feel you probing my mind. Well, let me spare you the effort. If you are one of the few in this universe who doesn't know who I am, I'll enlighten you. I am the Silver Surfer, and I am not one who takes imprisonment lightly. Incredible. There is actually a new city of prisons in the Outrider system. Its systematic configurations are identical to that of the target matrix. One 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 has accomplished a complete structural and cognitive interface with the target alien. It is as if we have entered each other's minds. Each other's brains? Then I am not inside some sort of spacecraft. Well, by the universal soul. The Grand Practitioner never prepared us for this. Stop muttering. I can hear you in my head, but your signals are garbled, indistinct. Curse me for falling into so obvious a trap. I actually believe yours to be a signal of distress. It was. It is. I can read your anger, Silver Surfer, but all will be explained. Once the cerebral interface is completed, once the 111 databank has downloaded, you will understand and believe. I implore you, Silver Surfer, do not resist. I have crossed an entire universe, sacrificed everything, even my life, to perform this one task. Please, trust me. I don't know why I should, but for the present, I'll grant you the benefit of the doubt. Whatever message you wish me to hear, I'll hear. But if this turns out to be some wait, my surroundings blinking in and out, as if through a strobe, images peeking through the fleeting flashes, illusions, they must be, and the sensation of feeling lost. 
patient, Silver Surfer. The disorientation will soon pass. Downloading complete. Eh? Where am I now? I have spanned the deepest reaches of the universe. Light years upon light years. Have committed entire galaxies to memory. Yet, among these stars and planets, there is not one I recognize. Except that one. I know I've seen it before. Yet it feels so familiar. Just as I feel that that enormous space cruiser, even though I've never beheld this light before, is intending to annihilate that planet. It's going to destroy my home. I can't let this happen. I must stop it. Then why not simply demolish the ship? Why do I instead feel compelled to race down toward the planet? Yet that is what I must do. I must warn my people. I must save the people of the Mesas. Even though I feel, I know that my best efforts will be not half good enough. I am performing a fool's errand. A horrible act of futility. Yet I must see it all through. I have no choice. The compulsion engulfs me. Black body's coming. Black body's coming. No. Drax. The Fantastic Four. Moondragon. Thanos. What are you all doing here? Waiting to die, Surfer. Black body coming. Black body coming. Black body's coming. Black body's coming. Yeah. Ain't that what usually happens when Black Body comes to go? Black Body's coming. Shalaba, Fanon, by the gods of Zilla, you have to get out of here now. Haven't you heard? Black Body's coming. I've heard, my beloved. Norin, we all have. But our fate here is sealed. All you know, all you love, are doomed. Unless you can save us. Black body's coming. Yes, I must save you all. Oh no, I am too late. Black body is here. This is insane. I've never seen this creature before in my life. I know I have. And though its size is imposing, it is not much bigger than several other foes I've encountered and vanquished. Then why, by all the cosmic deities, does it terrify me so? I have to do something. All I know, all I love, are depending on you. Curse you, Harold. Your whining and decision will be the death sentence for your world. Stand aside, then, Silver Surfer, and let he who gave you your power be the one to show you how to properly wield it. Galactus. So this is all power play. To the victor goes masses? No. Stay back. You swore my whole world. You would spare. So I am ignoring that. But if you are too hesitant to save your world from the black body, then what does it matter who saves and for what end? But that type of assault is useless. Already the black body shell opens to absorb all the energies in itself. Galactus, the blackness will consume even you. And once that black mouth slips from the energy well, it must drink until the well is drained. Surfer, help us. 
would be sucked into the hole. All you know, all you love, Lord, save us. By all gods, save us. I, I can't. I'm being consumed as well. Everything draining from me. Everything. All my power. All I know. All I love. All I am. No! No. Tay, are you alright? Hmm? What? What did you call me? Oh, my apologies, Elder. I did not mean to be so familiar, Grand Practitioner Tay. It was just that you seemed to be distracted. Yes, yes. I suppose I was. Grand Practitioner Harkis Tay. That's me. That's my name, isn't it? Pardon? Never mind. Awesome. Yes, Elf. Ten of us await your next command. Excellent. No need to hide your fear, Oslin. Or any of you. The mission you have all volunteered for is infinitively deserving of fear. Remember though, even grand practitioners are fallible. For all we know, we may be securing our hopes in a dream. All our findings may be wrong. There may be nothing beyond the vortex except annihilation. If any or all of you want to turn back, no. No, Elder. We are not afraid. Any hope is better than no hope at all. There is no life for us here that is worth it. Weeping is loss. Wrong, Oslin. So wrong. It will be mourned heavily. This way then, and hurry. The rupture will be upon us soon. Look at this. It's absolutely amazing. Grand Practitioner Tay, how did you actually manage to build all this without being detected by the territorial troopers? Quiet, Ken. The troopers may well stop us yet if we are not careful. How the elders accomplished this is less important than the fact that they have. Your confidence in us practitioners is appreciated. Collison, a lot of wonderful young believers gave their lives to provide us the distraction we needed. I only pray that we prove worthy of such sacrifices. By the cosmic essence, these are the outright symbionts we are to occupy. They look just like us. El, you never told us they would be replicants. It seemed the appropriate thing to do with all you've already sacrificed. I didn't want your soul's final dwellings to be that of strangers. Besides, when you return to Nassus, it would be nice if your family recognized you. Yes, Grand Practitioner, if we return. Our gratitude for the kindness, whatever our fates. It is with both dread and elation that I, Grand Practitioner Harkis Tay of the Inasis Gorgon 101001, make this final Outrider entry. Long have our legends speculated of a universe beyond the cosmic swells that erupt whenever the skin of the universe is broken, a universe where great power dwells. Half my life, I have worked with the practitioners to glean fat from such fancy, calculating the intervals of the breaches. We've probed within the swells, and indeed, finally detected 
So we're deep within the rupture, what appear to be incredible living organisms of energy, life forms, which if our calculations were remotely correct, could be the salvation of our beloved Inasis, if we could but summon them. Initial transmissions attempts through the swells were ineffective. It became more evident with each futile effort that the only way to get a message through the swells was to physically carry it through. That is when I created the Outrider symbionts of what nature is this universe on the other side of the breach? Will it even be compatible with our own? Or is it all just moot? What if the swells are untraversal? What if these brave young rebels sacrificed everything for nothing? I must now end this vow. In this transmission, the outriders have reached their designated target coordinates and are preparing to enter the breach. If the interface succeeds, this record will be read by the energy beings upon initial download by the outrider replicants. If not, may the souls of the sacrifice forgive us for casting them adrift in a fool's dream. Poor Harkir's Tay. He feared so much for us. Despite all, all the research, all the calculations, in the end, it all came down to faith, our faith, in his dream. My presence here is vindicated. I have not been able to network with the other outriders. I can only surmise that they did not survive the journey through the swells. Of the ten cent, it seems that only one, 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 the seventh messenger has succeeded. Just as only you, Silver Surfer, have been chosen as the savior of the universe if you choose to accept. How could I not, after experiencing these images you fed into my brain, the destruction of all the beings who ever entered my life by inhabiting my mind of Harkius Tay, rather blatantly exercise the garden of empathy, effectively blatant, I should say. So what now? If I am to help your world, I need to know how to get there. I need coordinates. Coordinates would be useless, even if it were possible to chart them. If the Elder's theories are correct, even at your maximum speed, it would take the time equivalent of several suns aborted and dying before you've covered half the distance between here and in Mesa's garbage. 101001. You must cross over to the other side of the universe the same way 111 did through the cosmic swells. And that journey is one only I fear you will have to make alone. This outrider is spent. All the data you need to locate the breach has been implanted in your memory. Once I disconnect the interface, it will be yours to access, and I will be gone. Tell Grand Practitioner Tay that the dreams were true. Disconnected. No! Stop! Aslan! Too late. The computer, brainscape, starting to sputter, break up. It's as if something inside of me was dying. I'm... I'm... I'm back. All the stars. I recognize every one of them. I'm home. Outrider 7. He's gone. I can't hear him anymore. He... They sacrificed everything. I only pray that I prove worthy of such sacrifices. 
Yes. I now know what I have to do. Now I know where. Strange. I had all but forgotten when all these stars seemed unfamiliar to me as those I gazed upon in Outrider Memories files. It seems like an eternity since I felt the discomfort of being lost. How I grew to envy other space travelers for whom that discomfort merely prefaced the exhilaration of discovery. Wow, for the Herald of Galactus, every such discovery portended disaster. Perhaps this is the new destiny I have been unknowingly waiting for. The chance to start afresh, a chance to escape the guilt, to serve a galaxy that seeks assistance, not atonement from me, for whom my past is but a mere inconsequence buried an entire universe away, to be born anew or to die at birth. Either way, it is my destiny. Next issue. Catch a wave.